What's not to like about encasing monkeys inside of balls and rolling them down the hill? You know that's illegal in most parts of the world. I was hoping for a different, a different animal in this incarnation of Super Monkey Ball. Super Llama Ball. The look of fear on the llama's face is priceless. These monkeys actually seem to enjoy it. Perhaps because in this version of the game, for the Nintendo Wii, it can be played with the Wii controller or the Wii balance board. As the title suggests, you can step and roll. That sounds interesting, but not nearly as interesting as Super Llama Ball Bump and Grind. All right, now pay attention. This might influence your purchasing decision. The bananas in Super Monkey Ball Step and Roll are Chiquita bananas. In the instruction manual, it says, for more information about Chiquita, visit www.chiquitabananas.com. By the way, I go bananas for Chiquita bananas. This game is rated E for everyone, but it has mild cartoon violence. Hopefully against bananas, because they're arrogant. Bananas have had an attitude problem ever since Ms. Pac-Man came out because they were the fruit that gave you the most points. It went to their head, now they're pompous. Bananas. They have potassium, but they don't taste as good as grapes. That should be their marketing slogan. Super Monkey Ball Step and Roll is published by Sega. The Super Monkey Ball series actually gained quite a bit of notoriety on the Nintendo GameCube. There's about 70 levels in this version of the game. As I mentioned, it can be played with the Wii Balance Board. I'm using the Wii Controller, which works quite well for this game. You tilt the controller left or right, up or down to move it left or right, or faster and slower, to roll the Super Monkey Ball through the mazes as quickly as possible, collecting bananas and dodging things that stop you. It's a clever game, one that's well suited for the Nintendo Wii. Very smooth gameplay, nice high contrast, cartoony visuals, the kind of style that works well on the Wii. This is one of those games that can be played by the family because it's a perfect kids game, but not so irritating, aggravating, and repetitive that it can't be enjoyed by adults as well. This is a lot like an arcade game with short, fast, fun games where you can compete against yourself for the fastest time and the highest score. Which would make sense because Super Monkey Ball was originally an arcade game. Until you get used to it, moving the guy around quickly and navigating these mazes is quite tricky. This is one of those games that works great with the Nintendo Wii controller. It's not just tacked on to say it has motion controls. It works extremely well with the Nintendo Wii controller. I did not have a chance to try this with the Wii balance board, but I was sitting on my couch and I didn't fall off. Man, who's playing this? The object is not to hit everything in front of you. Must have been the dog. I like this style of gameplay. I, I reviewed a game in 2009 called Vertigo for the Nintendo Wii, which has a similar style of gameplay, with more of a science fiction thing going on, and, it's, and it was far more frustrating challenging game. This one is more approachable, but to really master it, you will have to play it a lot. That's uh, part of the arcade style. Easy to jump in and play Super Monkey Ball, step and roll. Tough to master. This has a co-op mode and some party games. Many of you are already fans of the Super Monkey Ball series, so you can see what this game looks like here. Those of you who may not have tried this, may want to check it out. It's, it's got that nice perfect blend of arcade style, fun gameplay, and clever use of the motion controls on the Wii. And is published by Sega. And the better they do, the more likely they'll re-release the Sega Genesis. This time with a pack-in game cartridge called Super Llama Ball Bump and Grind. Also available on the 32X.
four. <laughs>